Greetings folks, this exciting episode will be all about the Matek F411 WSE flight control board. It's a new version of the F411 wing uh, with some new features and losing some old features. The main feature is that it's a uh, smaller size, it's 28 millimeters by 28 millimeters, where the old F411 was 48 by 28. It's a double stack. It weighs about three and a half grams less than the uh, F411 wing. It provides four servo outputs instead of five. It supports two camera inputs, switchable, like the uh, F722. But the big change for me is that it has filtered uh, VBAT or battery voltage level for the camera and the video transmitter. So that means we'll get less interference compared to the F411 in the video feed, which is excellent. So let's have a look at what we get in the package. Always got to be careful about the little screws that are in there as well, these little mounting screws. We get a 12 pin set, that's for the servos, that goes in this little slot here. They're the only pin sets you get, you'll have to sort of provide your own for all the other ones. If we compare it to the F405 here, you can see it's a way, way smaller. Even the F411 uh, is sort of double that size. The USB port is a little bit prone there, so uh, it's a good idea to dribble some epoxy around just to support it so that uh, it doesn't break off, because if that breaks off, you, you're in strife, really. All right, so there's the DFU button. Uh, you need to push and hold that and connect it to your computer if you want to flash the firmware. Uh, micro USB. Let's go here first. Servo ports. And we've got S S3, S4, S5 and S6. We have two motor connections, which are in there. And there. Start on this side, there's the arrow, so that's the way you have to mount it facing forward if you want to do it that way. Uh, supports uh, air speed indicator, a pitot tube, buzzer, LED, camera 2, camera 1, and video transmitter. Camera 2, the voltage supply is 5 volts, so you can power something like a run cam or a um, split or something like that from that set there. Uh, these two, the camera one and the VTX, use the filtered VBAT. And here we have RSSI, analog RSSI there. Uh, the I squared C there for connecting your compass. S bus here. UART 2 there, UART 1 there. Uh, GPS gets connected to the UART 1. And if you're ever wondering which INAV target you need to flash, it's written on the back there. Now the top and the bottom actually connect via this little pin set here. When you uh, push them together, uh, the pins will connect through there. So that's a neat way of doing that. So let's go over to the uh, Matek website and have a look at what they got there. They always have fantastic information uh, about connections, setups and things like that. Start off with a comparison list and you can see uh, the 411 WSE has the dual camera in, whereas the 411 doesn't. From the servo BEC, we've gained a bit more current. You can choose uh, 5 volts or 6 volts. Now, some of the specs, uh, what have we got? Two UARTs, two soft serial, one I squared C, two motors, four servo outputs, four analog to digital converters for VBAT current, RSSI and airspeed, switchable camera inputs, Voltage in 2S to 6S, 78 amp current sensor. And the BECs, we have a 5 volt BEC for the flight control board and a variable voltage one, You can, which is just default at 5 volts, but you can increase it to 6 volts by just doing a little solder bridge. Uh, 3.5 amps continuous, 5 amps burst for servos. 3.3 uh, volt volts and filtered VBAT, which is... Excellent. To set up the camera switching, you need to uh, set up user one mode in the iNav configurator, and by default, camera one is on, camera two is off, and you can set it on the switch so that camera two is on and camera one is off. Uh, I have it just sitting here on a little bridge across there. 
nice, neat, compact little size. Let's get rid of the battery. So servos plugged in over here. We have the camera and video transmitter here. GPS here, which is uh, underneath the wing around about there. And S-Bus is there, out in the other wing. As I said, I put a little bit of epoxy just to support the USB port there. That's a little bit fragile, I think. And a little ESC connector there, just uh, soldered in underneath. Lovely, neat little board. So let's go out and take it for a fly. Ready to go with the Matec F411WSE. Twin camera switching. Bit of wind around, so might be a bumpy ride. So line of sight flight first. Handling the wind pretty well, actually. Half when you go downwind, it gets wiggly. You just have to get the speed up. This is in uh, acro mode, so manual mode. I think I like flying in acro mode in this wind. Try a return to home. Turn to launch, and that's coming back to me. That's good. Yeah, all right, let's do some FPV. Leave it in return to home. Should be able to trust it. All right, goggles are on. Control, let's, uh, let's have a look out the back. Uh, where's my switch? Hee hee hee, look at that. That's cool. So at the moment I have uh, Pavel Spachalski's settings on here, P is zero, and uh, it feels absolutely fine to me. Let's take control again. All right, but we're on on the sticks now. Uh, I'll try increasing the P a little bit and see if it feels a little bit, bit better. But that's um, it's still stabilised, definitely. Wandering off a bit there. Let's try an altitude hold. Hey, I've got a nice clean feed. I do have an LC filter, an extra LC filter on the uh, video transmitter. I'll take that off and see if it makes much difference, but uh, this is looking pretty good. Turn to home. It is quite windy. So the feed looks pretty good in my goggles. Faint diagonal lines, but uh, this is as clean as I've seen at the moment. Looks good. Switching camera. <laughs> that is a cool view. <laughs> I love it. At the front again. Oops. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't pay attention. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice landing.
And we're away. Lots of wind. Oh, lots of wind. It's going well. Probably is a bit more stable with a P of five, I think, in this wind. Board's working beautifully. All right, I've removed the LC filter now. Let's see if that makes much difference. Hopefully the filtering on the VBAT on this board will improve the interference. It's looking very good to me, looking nice and clean in the goggles. I am seeing slight diagonal lines, they're very vague. There's quite a lot of wind, so it's actually handling it very well. I think this is a big improvement over the F411 board. So I'm liking that board, it's, a, it's an improvement on the F411, uh, the, ca the dual camera switching is cool, probably not something I'll use all that time, all that much, but uh, certainly a cool feature. The filtered VBAT is a big improvement, uh, you can just run your FPV straight through it and you power through it to get the camera, uh, to get the current sensing, great stuff. Matek F411 WSE, that's a cool little board. Thanks for watching.